Hello, welcome to Evolving Academy. We are discussing limits. This is a video lecture number 20. I hope you have already watched video lecture number part 1 to part 19 before watching part 20. Uh, it is suggested that you must watch part 1 to part 19 before watching part 20. Today we are going to discuss some very tricky questions related to the pneumatic function, how to deal with that kind of questions and uh, what are the tricks behind that. Suppose we have some question like uh, limit x tends to 0, first question I am going to take here, limit x tends to 0, 8 divided by x to the power 8 and there is 1 minus sin cos square, 1 minus cos square cos x square by 2 minus cos x square by 4 plus cos x square by 2 cos x square by 4. This is the question. If I put x is equal to 0, then cos 0 would be 1, 1 minus 1, 0. And here minus 1 and this is 1 and 1. 1 into 1, 1. So 1 and 1, 1. Plus 1 and minus 1, 0 x tends to 0, then it will be also 0. If anyone go for L hospital rule, it will take too long process to eliminate this because x to the power 8, to remove, there is a 8 times you have to differentiate this function, it will be very difficult. So to avoid that, what to do? We can try this. This is a tricky one, x to the power 8. I can write 1 minus cos x square by 2. If I could take cos x square by 4 common out of these two, then what is left here? 1. And what is left here? Cos x square by 4. Right? So in that case, limit x tends to 0. 8 divided by x to the power 8. What will happen? 1 minus cos x square by 2. If I take common, this one. Then what will happen? x square by 2 left here. So x square by 2 if I take common, then what is left here? If I take this one common, then 1 will left, 1 minus cos of x square by 4. Now this will turn up like x tends to 0, 8 divided by x to the power 8, sin square, sin square cos 1 minus cos square, cos x square by 2. It is like 1 minus cos 2 theta is 2 sin square theta. We know this formula, right now? If there is 2 theta, then there will be theta. So similarly, 1 minus cos theta, this is in pattern of theta, can be written as 2 sin square theta by 2. Theta by 2 means x square by 2 divided by 2 will be x square by 4. 2 sin square theta by 2. In similar way, that will be also 2 sin square x square by 8. Isn't it? Okay. So 2 into 2, 4. 4 into 8. Limit x tends to 0. This is 8 into 4. Come here. And now this is sin square x square by 4. Sin square x square by 8 divided by whole x to the power 8. To arrange any form of sin x by x so that it can be written 1, I need to write x square by 4 in denominator. So what to write here? Limit x tends to 0. 8 into 4 sin x square by 4 divided by x square by 4 whole square, right? x to the power 8. What I did here, that I have divided x square by 4 whole square. So I need, it need to multiply that x square by 4 whole square I have to multiply. Similarly here, sin x square by 8 divided by x square by 8 whole square. So I have to multiply x square by 8 whole square. Now, what will happen? Limit x tends to 0. 8 into 4 upon x to the power 8 multiply by 1 square multiply by x to the power 4 upon 16 multiply by 1 square again here 
and that will be x4 upon 64. Now, if a square is 64, so we can do that. Now, this is 8 to ja, 8 4 ja 32, and 32 can divide this 64 times, right? And x to the power 4, x to the power 4 can be cancelled x to the power 4 plus x to the power 4 would be x to the power 8 that cancels by x to the power 8 so what is left now 16 into 2 that is 1 by 32 and this is the answer of this question right i hope you got it okay so next question is let us see the next one what is the next question the another question is limit x tends to 0 1 minus cos x cos 2x cos 4x whole divided by sin square 2x this is the question if I put limit x tends to 0 then what will happen cos 0 is 1 cos 0 is 1 cos 0 again 1 1 into 1 into 1 will be 1 1 minus 1 0 and in denominator this is also sin square 2x so that is 0. So cos x cos 2x and cos 3x it would be better to write here cos 3x so that it can be converted. Now to solve this question let me first rearrange the numerator 1 minus cos cos x cos 2x cos 3x can be written as cos 3x cos x cos 2x right because it is a product, we can rearrange them cos 3x, cos x, cos 2x. I can divide by 2 and multiply by 2. We have this. This is 1 by 2. 2 cos a cos b. Everyone know the formula. 2 cos a cos b is cos a plus b. That is 3x plus x, 4x. Plus cos a minus b. That is 3x minus x, cos 2x. And cos 2x is there again. So I can write 1 by 2 cos 4x into cos 2x plus cos square 2x right again I can divide by 2 and multiply by 2 2 cos 4x cos 2x and 2 cos square 2x right again I can write this what 2 cos a cos b cos a plus b that is 6x plus cos a minus b that is 2x and 1 plus cos 2 cos square x is 1 plus cos 2x that is 4x so finally it will come 1 by 4 1 plus cos 2x cos 4x and cos 6x isn't it now come to the question limit x tends to 0 1 minus instead of all these factors I can write 1 by 4 into 1 plus cos 2x plus cos 4x plus cos 6x divided by what is that sin square 2x if i took calcium then 4 into 1 4 4 minus 1 what will remain 3 then what will happen limit x tends to 0 3 minus cos 2x cos 4x cos 6x isn't it? And divided by LCM will remain 4, 4 into sin square 2x. Got it? Now think what to do and why to do. Basic thing is what to do and why to do. If I can write this 3 can be distributed to 1 in each one in each in each one of the term, then what will happen? Agar mai is ko ek ek karke tino mein distribute kar dun, so kya hoga? 1 minus cos 2x, 1 minus cos 4x, and 1 minus cos 6x ho jayega. To kya hoga? Agar aisa karu, to what will happen? Try to understand. Bhot asaan hai, yahaan se agar sab ko ek ek part dun, ek ek distribute kar dun, to kya hoga? If I distribute one to each one of the term, then what will happen? If I can, then it will be limit x tends to 0, 1 minus cos 2x plus 1 minus cos 4x plus 1 minus cos 6x 
1 plus 1 plus 1 3 and in denominator this is 4 sin 2x by 2x whole square multiply by 2x square I can write here right okay now limit x tends to 0 1 minus or even if you don't want to write, write like this you can leave it as it is sin square 2x aap jaisa chahe aisa rakhne kyunki yahan se sin 2x milega wo cancel ho jayega 1 minus cos 2x kya hota hai 2 sin square x plus yahan se kya milega 2 cos sin square 2x yahan se kya milega 2 sin square kitna sin square 3x अब नीचे क्या है हमारे पास 4 sin square 2x सब को चाहे तो आप अलग अलग करते तो यहां कट जा सकते लेकिन सब को आप चाहे तो अरेंज कर सकते हैं कैसे अरेंज कर सकते हैं 2 ऊपर से सब में से कॉमन ले लिया राइट और यहां पे इसको अरेंज कर दिया sin x x का होल स्क्वायर x स्क्वायर सिमिलरली sin 2x 2x का होल स्क्वायर 2x स्क्वायर ठीक है प्लस 2 sin 3x 2 तो निकल गया है 3x by 3x का होल स्क्वायर into 3x का स्क्वायर राइट 3x का स्क्वायर ओके अब नीचे क्या है नीचे वो इसी तरह से अरेंज कर सकते हैं 4 है sin 2x by 2x का होल स्क्वायर ऊपर में पहले अरेंज कर रहे थे अब अरेंज कर देता हूं 2x स्क्वायर एक बात ध्यान देने वाली है कि ये सारा 1 हो जाएगा यहां से क्या मिलेगा 2 लिमिट x टेंस टू 0 sin x by x 1 होता है 2 से ये 2 टाइम्स कैंसिल हो गया तो यहां से मिलेगा 1 स्क्वायर into x स्क्वायर plus 1 स्क्वायर into 4x स्क्वायर plus 1 स्क्वायर into 9x स्क्वायर and denominator it is 2 into 1 स्क्वायर into 4x स्क्वायर if i can take common 9x square plus 4x square 13x square plus x square 14x square and in numerator it is a 14x square in denominator it is 4 to the 8x square x square x square cancel this is 7 by 4 and this is the answer of this question got it i hope you got it right so 7 by 4 will be answer of this question let us do some more question There is question, question number 3, limit x tends to 0, 0 to x t dt upon x tan pi plus x. This question can be decided like it is 0 by 0, right? So what to do? You have to go for this either L hospital rule or there is just some other alternate idea. Integration of t dt is t square by 2. So I can write like this. x tan pi plus x lies in third quadrant. And in third quadrant tan is always positive. So tan pi plus x is tan x. So that will be tan x. Now limit x tends to 0. x square by 2 divided by x tan x. x x cancels. Limit x tends to 0 x by 2 and tan x by x multiply by x I have divided by x and multiply by x this x and this x cancel what is left? 1 by 2 because tan x by x is 1 so answer is 1 by 2 got it? one more question can I discuss one more question? Hmm? ok so we will discuss some more tricky questions in the next video lecture, right? And hopefully you are enjoying the class and you are learning many tricky approach. So subscribe our channel and watch our all videos what we are uploading. And in recent time we will upload some more video lectures regarding this limits and some other topic. Thank you. Thank you very much.